said an outside blah, blah, agency blah. may have tampered with the storage locker. What did you mean by that? Well, I've seen, uh, I mean, I've heard that government agents may have locked up some of the more sensitive evidence in a safe inside the locker. Come on, Chase. What are you not telling me? Damn it. Okay, listen. I snooped around that locker before and found the safe code. But I kind of got caught by one of those guys. He knows I know, Jensen. If I give you the code, they'll know I talked. Call me negative, but I can't think of a nice outcome to that. Can't believe you can't just make him tell you. Why retire from the force only to become a security guard? I mean, it looks like you still love the world. Where's work. the rough and tumble the Jensen I know and come. love? Ever since I was a kid, I wanted to join the force. But I just got fed up. It's not like I had imagined it. It's a job. Some people are good at it, while others Look just don't care. Look at this Jimmy care. McNulty motherfucker right shows. here. This case, the Seraph case, it was just the last drop in a cup already full. <laughs> Alright. That's all I need for now. Uh, so yeah, I would go exploring all these uh, apartment buildings, but it's kind of pointless without at least level 2 hacking, so I need to Get some XP's first. Ah, but you didn't see that, huh? Yeah. Ooh, you know that's gotta be good, right? So, uh, let's see. That's <laughs> like, you use the hacking thing like you use grenades. <laughs> so he makes a little grenade noise when you use them. <laughs> Oh god, uh, there we go. Oops. Hey guys. What's Want a sniper you? rifle? Have a blast. Okay. What am I doing in here? Oh, probably the Thorps are in here. Remember those people I saved? From the bomb? Hey guys. I can never thank you enough for what you did. Welcome. I'm glad you came. I can never properly repay you for what you did, of course, but... I would like to help out any way I can. What do you have in mind? There's a gentleman named Seurat who works in the area. His business causes him to move around quite a bit. But at the moment he's occupying an apartment in a building on Earl's Court. If you mention my name, he'll give you a discount on his wares. He deals in... well, he's a gun runner. How does a guy like you know someone like that? Growing up in my old neighborhood, you learn pretty uh -huh. quick to cultivate certain types of relationships. Greg's a little street. You'll remember his name, won't you? Seraph, like the painter. Better remember this XP that your book just gave me. And this safe. Ah. Oh. Gotta remember to come back when I have level two. I'm so close. I want to find Surat. Actually, this city is one big gutter and always will be. You think this is bad? What I'm going to do is go to my apartment. Yeah. There's two ways you can go, and the most efficient one is through like a random sewer. Makes sense, right? Oh, don't have to pick up heavy shit. Huh? No. This is nice though. What's up guys? Let's 
gonna take your pocket territory real quick. Uh, what's in here? I'm gonna hack that. <laughs> Anything level two, I'm gonna hack it. If it was level three, I'd use the code, but uh, this is just too good right here. Long time no see. Yeah, you're telling me, lady. Jensen. My god, it's been a while. Remember me? We used to work the old 17th precinct back in the day. Yeah, it looks like you're working <laughs> something. I wish I could go with the good old you haven't changed at all bit, but that'd be complete and utter bullshit, right? You're right. What's the deal? Okay. Oh. So the machinery's not just for show. <laughs> I'm undercover, keeping tabs on the derelict row ballers for now. I've got a hunch something big's coming. Why do I get the sudden feeling you're about to include me into that something big? Because you're clever. That and the fact that, well, it's pretty obvious. But jokes aside, you couldn't have come at a better time, Jensen. This case I'm on, we're stalling and we could use a little external help. Go ahead. I'm with IA now, and we're working a sting on a dirty cop named Jack O'Malley. Elusive, motherfucker. I mean, men in black elusive. We know he's involved in drugs, weapon dealing, tied into the gangs. But he's clever, and we just can't seem to pin anything on him. I swear he's got friends in high places. Okay, and where do I fit in all this? You're an outsider. You can go places we legally can't. I need someone to do a couple of things. Break into his apartment, sneak into DRB territory, and finally, go undercover posing as a hitman. It's almost this like a three-part quest. It's the real deal. Major player, major consequences. We have to get him before shit hits a fan. You in? Mm. How about the target, O'Malley? Got any more info? He's a cop, but he went on assignment with the feds for a while. No reports, no address, nothing. We're pretty sure he got tied up in major covert ops, but never got anything solid on him. He has a badge, but he doesn't feel like a cop at all. I haven't walked the beat in a while. Illuminati. Can you give me a quick sit rep of the local gangs? <laughs> you know, gangs are not the finest example of evolution, if you catch my drift. Everything's pretty much the same. The derelict row ballers are still dealing and stealing, getting into fights with Augs, and defacing augmented people's property. Yeah, right. Upstanding citizens. And then on the other end of the spectrum, just you have like the Motor me. City Bangers. Ignorant scumbags just like the DRBs, only some of them are augmented scumbags. See, we're all the same. Thank you, South Park. Can't let a guy like that roam free. I'm in. All right then, let's get to work. Like I said, I've got a couple of very promising leads, but O'Malley's got friends among the powers that be. I wouldn't be able to get my hands on a warrant, even if I had footage of the perp confessing in real time as he's finger-painting his motive on the wall in the victim's blood. So I guess we're gonna have to break a few rules. So wait, if you can't even get a warrant with that, how can you get a conviction? No, never mind. Suits me. Rules would only slow me down. Hmm. Very dirty hairy of you, Jensen. But we still have to be careful how we handle this. <laughs> We've worked hard to catch this son of a bitch. I, I don't want the revolver him to, to prove it. Alley. What about the undercover assignment? Posing as a hitman. O'Malley's crafty, and even a bit paranoid. He's always using proxies, scapegoats, and red herrings to get us off his ass. But after months of schmoozing, we finally got through to one of his guys. Turned him into a mole. He provides us with information, stuff like that. And he's gonna be my way in? Exactly. Yesterday, another one of O'Malley's guys whacked someone. A drug dealer. There's a witness, but we don't have any details. O'Malley does, and he wants someone to take care of the mess. The usual guy just got busted for possession, so the contact will send you in to pose as his replacement. O'Malley will be waiting for you in an alley next to the police station. And you want me to milk him to get the info on the witness? You haven't lost your touch, Jensen. Uh -huh. We think O'Malley will ask you to retrieve the murder weapon, use it to kill the witness, and then plant it on a scapegoat he can arrest later. What you need to do is get that weapon and bring it to me. And what about the witness? We're almost positive he's a member of the MCBs. Once you know the location, you'll need to get there, take care of any opposition, and prep him for retrieval. Prep him? Well, you know, he's a gangbanger, Jensen. You he's know. not going to turn in peacefully. But we need him alive. So I guess you're gonna have to play this one macho and knock him out. 
One of our guys will then just happen to stumble upon him. You know, serendipity. So what am I looking for in O'Malley's apartment? I have to not kill someone? Information, mm. drugs, weapons. Basically anything you think can be used to build a stronger case against him. The more you get, the better. Yeah, drugs, weapons, that's fine. But uh, victim finger writing with blood on wall, no. Okay. Not good What's enough. What's this about getting into DRB territory? Yeah, I needed to get in there and track down a shipment of weapons for me. We managed to gain access to solid information that will tie it to O'Malley, but I need proof it's really there. They've probably stashed it around somewhere. A cop dealing weapons to a criminal anti og gang? Not a pretty picture. Got that right. I guess we both agree. Nothing good can come out of this, huh? I don't know where exactly the DRB's cache is, but I know there's a bonus for you if you manage to sneak in and out without being spotted. Would make shit easier to handle on my side. Okay, let's do this. Uh, you uh, can we'll see about me that. On my if anything comes up. I'll Excellent. give it a shot. Oh, and Jensen, one last thing. To protect my cover, it'd be better if you only contact me again once you've taken care of everything. That is fine with me. The less talking, the better. It's been fucking plenty enough of that already. Alright, I'm going to my apartment. Because there's a free combat rifle in there, and I'm going to take it. If you ask me, these riots are David Wait. Sarah's fault. Newspaper. He has this air of arrogance about him, this sense of superiority. People don't. Ah, uh, whatever. That's right. Nah. Welcome home, Mr. Jensen. These windows are supposed to open up. What the deal? <laughs> I didn't hit the trigger. Security system. See, welcome home, Mr. Jensen. Oh, uh, see, there we go. <laughs> I was gonna say there's some cool lighting effects, and it's way Blade Runner in here, and then uh, it didn't go. So, he has a decent view, I guess. Uh. The book. There's my shit right there. Do I have that code yet? I don't know. Let's check my computer. This is just. That's just rough right there. Ouch. But there's the code. Ammo, ammo, ammo. Look. Oh, there's that point. Oh, this is what I need right here. Yes. Alright. I'm gonna put this damage mod on this combat rifle. Use those painkillers that I picked up. Oh, it's level one. Looks like it's getting hacked. Access granted. See ya. It's a pretty cool little thing. Your own secret stash. Now this, the pistol armor penetration system, this is brutal. It makes it so, uh, even really powerful weapons like the sniper rifle and revolver, if they have an uh, armored head, some of the more heavily armored dudes, it's not even a one-shot headshot, but that just bypasses all armor, which makes it the ideal stealth weapon once you get the silencer. 
because uh, it's just a one-shot headshot on anything, and it's instant death, which means it won't violate your stealth. So, got everything we needed in here. Now I'm going to see a man about a horse.